Welcome back, everybody. We're going out and about to bring you the taste of the river this morning. Deborah Lindner is here, and she's been cooking up some crawdads this morning. Getting ready for the Blue Canoes crawdad meet. The, yeah, they're they're getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, uh, Deborah, excuse me, we, we appreciate you coming in this morning and bringing some friends both alive and not so alive. Thank the you, Spencer, for you've been, having me. You've been here before for, <laughs> for this event, and uh, we, we're glad to have you back. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. All right, so Deborah, first yes. thing, let's talk about where people can fill up on these crustaceans. I'm wrangler. It's not, yeah, you, it's you not going to be the live ones. They're going to look much more like what's on this plate right, right here. Right. Where can people go this weekend? At the Blue Canoe. We are south of Nampa, about 22 miles. You uh, head out 12th Avenue South and go until you cross the Snake River and then go left toward Murphy and we're just a couple miles on the right. Can't miss you, I'm Can't assuming, miss it. right? And what can people find when they head out to the Blue Canoe? It's on the 31st, it's this Saturday, right? Yes, what, it's this what Saturday. What will people find? What can they eat, hear, see? Do. We, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, really. Well, we have live music. Um, we have kind of an open mic jam session from 2 to 5. We're going to have uh, wine and cheese tasting, a local um, cheese maker, and also our local wines and then uh, we have a horseshoe tournament that starts at four we don't want to get, get we don't <laughs> want him to get to the end of the table there yeah <laughs> so horseshoes live music and then when does the actual crawdad feed start we start feeding people at six okay right around dinner time yes. perfect and right. i we have a lot of questions about this because rachel and i we realize neither of us has ever had crawdads before i have no idea how to even eat them or how to cook yeah, them or how anything to prepare. They Give look us yeah, they look a bit like a like a little tiny lobster. They right? are, and that's what they, they are. are. They okay. are. They are in the same family. There are three different types of crawdads, um, and this type is in the western, mostly in the western United States, and uh, they are quite large compared to some in the south. Yeah, I was going to say I've seen some other ones that are a lot smaller. There. Uh, would you like me to show you how to eat them? Let's yeah. do it. All yes. right. You twist off the tail. Much like a lobster as yes. well. A lot of good meat in the tail there. Pinch that first. <laughs> you have to have lessons just to, and just yeah, to be there. You and if you're heading on out to the crawdad feed, pay attention because this is you'll do a lot of this <laughs> on Saturday. Okay, and so there's a tail there's meat. a mud vein there, which this one is clean. And then you just rinse it off. Okay. And we have butter or cocktail sauce. Look at that. Delicious. Somebody ready for a bite? I'm ready. All right, Which go for it, like? Rachel. Let's do a little cocktail sauce. All right. Okay. Now, are you guys going to also help people? It'd probably okay. be easier if I <laughs> just go straight <laughs> in. Look at that. <laughs> do you feed people personally? Absolutely. Deborah will be there to feed you if you can't figure out how to do it. That's delicious. Yeah, will you help people? Are you going to help people uh, get the meat out of the crawdad? <laughs> well, they might need some help if well, they haven't done it before. We teach them how, but <laughs> for the most part, we have veterans. Oh, okay. Ah. And this is what they're waiting for. Some, maybe some speed competitions because coming in, too. How at, fast at, can you crack and them and eat them? Actually, we do. We have a uh, crawdad eating contest at 7 p.m. Oh, I would love to see that. And uh, it's very, very interesting. We have a, a two-year reigning champion, and he should be coming back this year to defend his title. We have a trophy for that, as well as trophies for the horseshoe tournament. And we have live music uh, band playing from 5 to 8, and then um, classic rock and roll from 8 to midnight. Wow. Oh, fun. Big good party. Food, Tons of fun. We'll have some vendors and yeah. just some fun things going on. It is a lot of fun. Awesome. And you've got your crawdad necklaces as well. It kind of gives me a taste of the South Absolutely. sort of thing right there. And guys. Deborah, we will post all the information on our Facebook page and on our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com, so people can find you. I appreciate and head that. Out to Guffy. Go and I want to mention that my feed. commercial fisherman is. Um, Idaho Wild Fish. Well, Company. thanks for thanks. yeah, thanks for bringing all these guys in, and this is going to be amazing. Head out and about this weekend. Lots of stuff to find. We'll post the details for you at IdahoOnYourSide.com. Bree, let's take a look at what's coming up. We've got the full on your side forecast, but first I want to give you another look at what today will look like. 96 degrees is a high. Yep, hot once again, and it doesn't look like we'll get a cool down very soon. Details coming up, but right now we're listening to a song powered by our sister station, 1071 K Hits. Good morning, Idaho.